Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Not sure exactly what's in here, but I know that it's from Max Ace because of the shiny packaging. So I'm always really excited to see what Max Ace is sending in. As per usual, I will link it right down in the description. You guys can check it out if you want to. It does help uh, my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and also on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. All right, so let's see what we've got. It's not a horrifically, um, you know, heavy package. What on earth is this? Okay, so we have some sort of leather. Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's a Max Ace hanky. Okay, awesome. Wow, this is actually really, <laughs> excuse me, actually super intense. And I honestly like it. I don't personally use Hanks, but I do like the artwork. So that's cool. Thank you very much. That's, that's awesome. I imagine that these are available on their website. Now, what do we have here? Uh, we have the Max Ace King Snake carbon fiber handle and S90V. I like the sound of all of that. All of that sounds very cool. Uh, let's let's find out what we've got going on here. King Snake. I don't remember them messaging me. They don't really ask permission. <laughs> there are a few companies that I, that I don't require they ask permission. Max Ace is one of them. They just send what they want because most of the time, the stuff that they send is just really cool. Uh, this does look slightly familiar. I'll tell you what. This is one of those Max Ace builds that is not completely and totally insane and is probably much more, um, you know, uh, right off the bat, it just appears much more utilitarian. That's the funny thing about Max Ace is they make things like the Titanus or the, is it the Titanus, the Vortex, right? They make all this absolutely bizarre stuff and then they turn right back around and prove to everybody that they know how to make you know, I, just a good pocket knife. Whoa, they did! It surprised us with the... <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is going to be super utilitarian. It's straight up totally normal. And they packed a little weirdo recurve in there. Not my favorite blade shape in the whole world. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I will say it's very, very easy to manipulate, right? Some people do like these recurves. That's, that's stupidly smooth. Look at this. And can we use the front flipper effectively? Oh yes, definitely. Very nicely tuned detent, considering uh, you know where the thumb studs are. This appears to be a nested liner lock, almost certainly steel. Um, let's take a look here. Yes, that is the Magnus definitely wanting it. So definitely steel. Um, the uh, blade is a nice tumbled S90V blade. We do not need the name of the knife on the knife. Uh, don't mind the Max Ace name on the pocket clip, but I, would, I still would just, I feel like companies underutilize the spine. This is a good area to put things because we're not looking directly at it from the show side or the rear side. But anyways, the build here is contoured carbon fiber, really nice carbon fiber. Max Ace always doing a good job with carbon fiber. Most likely a titanium backspacer, definitely. Um, a lot of people are always like, just because it's not magnetic doesn't mean it's titanium. Listen, in the in terms of knives, the reason I'm not like guessing, and I just don't. In terms of knives, these are the materials that we generally see. Like if it's magnetic, it's steel. If it's non-magnetic, it is almost always, in terms of the pocket clip, titanium, because an aluminum pocket clip doesn't make sense. In some circumstances, we get aluminum backspacers. A lot of people pointed out that there's like 300 series non-magnetic steel. I have never seen that chosen as a backspacer or pocket clip material. Uh, every single time as a content creator with over 4,000 uploads, I can tell you pretty confidently that it's pretty much within very specific parameters what things end up being. I'm not trying to downplay anybody's wisdom on that stuff. I'm just saying when it comes to pocket knives, like there's only so many different things that people choose, right? Uh, so for the liner, it's definitely steel. But the nice thing here is that the if you don't mind this blade shape, this freaking razor, pelican robot razor, um, 
if you don't mind this, the build quality here is uh, indicative of a knife that is well under $200. It has to be. I, I bet the price tag on this is great. Max Ace, listen, I like all of this except for the recurve. And I bet you anything that people watching here are probably going to agree. Maybe you guys already have, maybe as soon as I get done with this video, I'm going to go check the link that I'm going to put in the description and I'll find that it has a bunch of different blade shapes, in which case problem solved. Something tells me that's not the case though. Let's look on the box and see. Uh, it just says king snake. It doesn't say anything specific about the blade shape. So my guess is it's just this blade shape, but I mean, if we had like some belly here going the other way, oh, can you imagine with me? Maybe that housing is meant to make room. I mean, like maybe the blade shape is meant to work with the design of the handle. But everything here, here feels really good. I'm just trying to imagine a straight edge or an tanto or a drop point blade. S90V carbon fiber. I mean, man, you'd have a real winner there that would appeal to a lot of people. I think Max says just kind of likes to put their own spice in there, their, their own wacky powder in there, which is fine. That's great. Um, but, you know, they obviously are capable of doing more... Um, Generic blade shapes, right? I mean, let's look at the Max Ace Black Mirror. Highly recommendable if you're not familiar with that knife. Let's look at the Peregrine. Also, generic blade shape, highly recommendable, right? Um, and uh, two of those, especially the Peregrine 2, those are builds that are titanium and well under $200. So, yeah, I, I mean, this, this it, it has to be, right? Max Ace, I think this is cool, and some people are really, really going to enjoy this crazy recurve. But I think the vast majority of people would prefer an option where we don't have this recurve and it's more of a straight, like a traditional drop point or uh, maybe a compound tanto or something like that, but the, where the edge is straighter. Um, either way though, um, in terms of the materials, the uh, build quality, the execution of everything, and almost certainly um, the price tag, this, this looks pretty darn great. I also don't love where you guys put the pocket clip. Why is it so low? This could have been mounted much higher. <coughs> Not that deep carry is always better than shallow. Well, any carry position is better than shallow carry, in my opinion. This is approaching shallow. Shallow is totally, I mean, like, a lot of people like to say that it gives you some sort of tactical advantage. Uh, yeah, I mean, all right. In, in a wacky fantasy scenario that you're undoubtedly having from your couch as you eat tacos and watch Netflix, like, okay, sure. But in reality, a medium to deep uh, carry depth just ensures that more of the knife is in your pocket and it doesn't look so goofy with the thing sticking up. I'd rather just have more in there. I love that the clip length is short, but it doesn't do me in particular. Like my preference is the clip is shorter and approaches you know, way back from the center point of the handle so that it's not in the middle of my hand they could move this back more than a quarter inch. I mean, close to a half an inch. And really, well, that's not really an issue, right? Ergonomically, it's not bad. I'm just saying I don't feel it in the middle of my palm. Um, but this is interesting. Uh, I hope that Max Ace experiments with this um, because the the value, I mean, like the uh, the incentive to for some people to pick stuff like this up, I mean, you're getting a steel liner and carbon fiber for the frame, which is strong, but not nearly as expensive as a full titanium frame. And then you're getting an S90V blade with Maxis execution. Yeah, it's gonna come in much less expensive than what we would normally expect for an S90V blade on this build quality. Um, I'm gonna measure it real quick so everybody knows kind of what size of knife that they're looking at. I'm gonna guess that's about eight inches. No, that's about eight and a quarter. Actually, it's more than that. It's it's actually closer to eight and a half. It is, it's very lightweight. That's really throwing me off. I wanna weigh this thing real quick. So we have eight, we have an eight and a half inch folder coming in at 3.53 ounces. Um, <coughs> definitely a product of the carbon fiber. Blade length is probably 3.75. Yep, uh, right on the money, 3.75 and 3.65 inches of cutting edge. That's amazing. Really cool. Yeah, you have uh, you you have the ingredients for a, a real winner here, a real crowd favorite. Just need a little bit of tweak in there on that blade shape, but I'll review it as it is. This is not a review. If you're new to my channel, the, the uh, videos that say unboxings or unboxing is exactly that. It's an unboxing which should never be a review in the same video. That would be horrifically irresponsible of the content creator for obvious reasons. So 
you will get a full review of this knife once I've had a chance to carry it, study it, talk to Max Ace about it, and all of that. You can wait and hear my thoughts, or you can check it out right now. I'll link it in the description. That's pretty much it today, guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.